Good morning. It's a new day. The Lord has woken us up. That means there's more for us to do. So it's time to rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It is great to be with you this morning. So I want to share with you a good reminder uh, that I got devotional reading a couple days ago from Crosswalk. Uh, and that's really to ask ourselves this question every day. What really matters most today? You know, um, the scripture I want to share with you is found in Luke chapter 10. And I'm going to refer to this later on this morning as well. But I want to read to you uh, the full context of it, verses 39 through 42. Martha had a sister named Mary who seated herself at the Lord's feet and was continually listening to his teaching. But Martha was very busy and distracted with all of her serving responsibilities and she approached him, Jesus, and said, Lord, is it of no concern to you that my sister has left me to do this serving alone? Tell her to help me, Lord, to do her part. But Jesus replied, Martha, Martha, you are worried and bothered and anxious about so many things. But only one thing is necessary for Mary, and she has chosen the good part, that which is to her advantage, which will not be taken away from her. You know, some weeks come with waves of heaviness that weighs slightly different in contrast that is to the typical constant flow of busy responsibilities and commitments and work schedule that normally have you wrapped up you know but things that come in unexpectedly things like sudden death a health scare a cancer diagnosis a, a loss of a job or a change of a job and at each instant the mundane heavy load of ordinary life didn't seem so significant in comparison to these big bombs. Whenever something is of such weight comes in close contact with our path, I'm reminded of these words in Solomon, meaningless, meaningless, meaningless. Because suddenly all the little things that felt, well, collectively so grand yesterday or right before the hard news appears vastly unimportant. I'm referring to unwelcome news that we're smacked with and faced with and that definitely isn't received in a moment as a gift. <laughs> I will say the perspective shift away from the focus on all the busy work, so to speak, is certainly a welcome, unexpected blessing. And I bet you've also had convicting moments when you realize you've been consumed with the potentially less important things of life because we all seem to live most of our packed full days burdened by thousands of small, seemingly big deal tasks and to-dos. But then we get blindsided with bombs of bad news and blows of life-altering tragedy only to question if the stuff we spin our wheels every jam-packed hour with really even matters. You ever pause in the midst of a crazy day or season and wondered, what am I doing all this for? What is the real point? Does it really even matter? Maybe you found yourself overwhelmed with the heavy load of, our, of, of your life, yet you long for relief and a lighter load, which leads you to ask yourself, what's days, what goes, what matters. All these things I busy myself with, do they really matter? All the stuff that actually, that's actually heavy, that actually matters, I can't control or do much about, but the rest of it, well, does it really matter? And what does God think? What matters to Him? Well, here's where I've learned time and time again of what matters most to God. And that's what matters most. And then I'm unsure what that truly is sometimes. While I'm swallowed up with the self-induced swelling schedule, I sometimes think of 
our friends, you know, Mary and Martha that I referred to in Luke chapter 10. And it is a favorite story of mine, one that reminds me every day of what really truly does matter. Because I can also relate to both characters. <laughs> I'm sure we all can. I pretty much live my days ruled by a tug of war of these two people, Mary and Martha. My inner Martha caught up with attending to all the seems to need to, to, to need to get done, the scheduling, the to-do list, and I get so consumed with these things I lose perspective. And then my inner Mary who understands the blessing and of stillness that just sitting at the feet of Jesus is really what matters most. And Jesus gives us the answer we're looking for in verses 41 and 42 that I read earlier, referring to the busybody of Martha. Oh, you're worried and bothered and anxious about so many things, but only one thing is necessary. Did you hear that? Only one thing is necessary. Jesus tells us right here what is most important. After learning in verse 39 that Mary attentively, intentionally, and continually sat at the feet of Jesus, he tells us only this one thing is necessary. He tells us that this is a good choice that will bless us, that will never be taken away from us. Friends, most importantly, more than anything, even doing things for him, the Lord just wants us with him. What matters most is our choice to sit each day at his feet, listening to his teaching, listening to his voice, listening to him. And I'm sure you've read this story many times like I have, but I also know I need reminders again and again in the midst of my overloaded life of schedule and to-do lists of what matters most. That is sitting at the feet of Jesus. If you're longing for a lightened load as you look at the day ahead and what's all around you, will you reaffirm with me that none of what before you is as important and impactful as the choice that you're about to make right now, to just sit at the feet of Jesus, to spend time with him, to talk to him and to praise him. This is what really matters most today. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you. We praise you for this time, Lord, to pause and to focus on what matters most, and that is you, uh, Lord, to listen to you, Father, to talk with you, to allow you to speak to us each and every day. Oh, Father, forgive us for the many, many times we have been so busy like Martha with all the to-dos and the schedules, and Lord, we get so wrapped up that we never take time to just sit at your feet and be a Mary. So Lord, help us today to focus on what really matters most. Lord, to keep you first and foremost in our minds and our day as well. To do your will. Lord, to go and to be the light to the world around us. To go and be the hands and feet of you to the people that come across our path. Oh Lord, we love you. We thank you. We pray all these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. And all God's children said, Amen. Folks, have a blessed day. And coffee on.